gassing produce may be a tool of the past. The New York Times reports that appeal sciences of California's goal is to make obsolete the gas, wax, and other tricks that growers use to keep fruits and vegetables fresh. Appeal has developed a method for creating imperceptible, edible barriers that the company says can extend the life of produce, like green beans and berries, by as much as five times by using leaves, stems, banana peels, and other fresh plant materials that are left behind after fruits and vegetables are picked or processed. Appeal's products, sold under the brand names Eddy Peel and Invisipeel, take plant materials and extract all liquids from them to produce tiny pellets. The company then uses molecules from those pellets to control the rate of water and gases that go in and out of produce, thus slowing down the rate of decay. James Rogers, the founder and chief executive of Appeal, correctly points out that it takes 30 days to get blueberries grown in Chile to market in the United States, which means they have to be picked before they're ripe and shipped under heavy refrigeration. This process is untested in mass volume, but it could reduce food waste and the use of pesticides. The reality is that there's an enormous amount of produce that rots before it can be shipped. The FDA has approved Edipeel as generally recognized as safe, a status that means a product is safe to eat and good for sale. Appeal has already raised $40 million in venture capital. The company estimates that their potential volume to produce companies account for some $6 billion in sales. Appeal, according to the New York Times, could, for instance, increase yields by reducing losses at the harvest level, which could translate to lower prices for consumers. It could reduce agriculture's environmental impact by allowing growers to ship products with an Edipeel barrier at higher temperatures. And before harvest, an Edipeel barrier could repel pests and fungi, thus reduce the use of pesticides. And then there's the enormous positive impact to reduce our food waste.